Okay, so I would like to tell a bit about our group. Uh, it's hard to say because like Sun is saying, but so our group does, you know, like everybody in our group is like a diamond which needs to be uh, like discovered, so to say, because everyone is different and we want to show that and everyone has some interest in some stuff. That's why we are doing presentation about uh, our lives, which helps us discover uh, what we are going to say and show to the world. As well, we are learning English, so like that's normal, but we are learning English in an other way, meaning we don't just sit and uh, do exercises, but as well we discuss some interesting topics. As well we can feel pretty comfortable, except like with Anya, because she's always offending me. But except for that, no, I'm not. I always feel really comfortable uh, with people I've been sitting here and I feel like I can express my opinion fully, so uh, that's not a shame. Uh, and that's why it is so so convenient to learn in a group like this, when it gives you so much opportunity to explore yourself and expand yourself in some ways. Okay, first thing first, I'm not offending him like in any way. Uh, second thing, our group I think changed my life. I'm serious now. Uh, I think I've met so many incredible people that have so many things to say that I've never heard before. I've never heard about bands they are presenting. Visually, okay. <laughs> I've never learned so much about your dancing, Marcel. And I've never heard so much about, I don't know, about Frida Kahlo, for example. Other people have uh, this kind of interest too, but they they don't talk with me about it. And this presentation forced us to open up to other people and stuff. And who was the beginner of the presentation? What who what tells us to do it was our wonderful teacher, Mrs. Janiska, and I love her so much. Everyone loves her. And she's so energetic and fun and she's always accepting whatever we want to say, whatever we want to do. And I think it's freaking awesome. Oh, I don't know what to say, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for being with, uh, being with me for the whole year. Yeah, you made it. <laughs> it was pretty hard, I guess. Hi, A2. Uh Sorry, hi A12. I never know the number. Now I know it. Uh, if you want to know the honest truth, you are the best thing that happened to me this year. And uh, I cannot imagine this year without you. You were so adorable. Uh, you were the best thing that happened to me and I'm really honest about it. Uh, I love your enthusiasm. I love your commitment and our discussions will stay in my memory for the whole holiday and I hope that we'll be cooperating like we did I can already use past simple terms uh, next year and I really hope for it because I'm sure that we could do wonders together Kisses Okay, Anya, so I want to tell you how to say hello in English, but like in true posh English. Okay. First, you need to take a word which describes everything which is around us and we breathe by it, which is uh. Then you take a word which describes a thing you have on your head, which is like this, which sounds like her. Then you take a word which describes the place where the hares live, like or rabbits, which is la. And then you take all this and add the accent, and it goes like, a hello! Oh! <laughs> Would you like some tea? <laughs> yeah, please, just give me some tea, mother. Yeah, la. Oh, uh, you're darling. No, it sounds like you're rich or something. Hello, chap. You're yeah. not that rich. Uh, not hello, chap. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, how it was? Champ? Cheers, champ. Oh, How no. you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't want to. Uh, British is like, 
perfect. I, I love this accent so much. Yeah. There's a pity I don't have one. Oh, and I've never had. <laughs>